When you are making music or trying to work a song out on the piano, it's easy to feel kind of stuck or limited by what you normally do on the instrument. For example, guitarists tend to have scales that they like using more than others, and pianists have patterns that they use over and over again. And that's kind of how you get good at an instrument. You have a catalogue of different devices that you use all the time and eventually it just sounds kind of diverse. Although really you're just scrolling through a list of presets that you've learned. And one of those presets that is a pretty useful one to have is something called a pedal note. Now, if you've never heard of a pedal note, a pedal note actually has nothing to do with a pedal. Well, I suppose technically it does have something to do with the pedal because it originated on the organ using the pedals. But now you can use pedal notes on pretty much any instrument that has the ability to play more than one note at the same time. And a pedal note is pretty much where you play a note and you change the chords around that note. So you can have a lower pedal note like this. Or you can have an upper pedal note like this. And you can do a few cool things with pedal notes because a lot of music is based around building tension and then releasing that tension. And a pedal note is inherently about building tension. And the reason for this is that if you play a chord and then you play another chord while keeping the same bass note, let's say, these notes are tense against that bass note because that bass note fit best with the first chord. But as a listener, whether you know it or not, we like to be able to follow the line in the music. And because it gives you something to latch onto, no matter what chord you play really, it won't sound too bad because your ear is drawn to that bass note. As long as you resolve it by playing a chord that the listener is wanting to hear, so if it was a C in the bass, it'd be a C chord. So with a lower pedal note, a way that you can use this is by playing a normal set of chords, let's say these ones. And then when you want to ramp up the tension, you can just include this pedal note, play a load of chords that you like the look of, and then eventually resolve it and it'll sound much more big and satisfying. Kind of like this. The good thing about using a lower pedal note as well is that it adds a lot of drama that you kind of don't really have to think about your left hand. You can just worry about which chords you're going to play. Now with an upper pedal note, the way that you can use this is by adding tension at the beginning of a piece of music or adding some mystery because you can create some ambiguity about what scale you're going to use until you actually resolve the chord at the end of whatever you play. It's kind of like at the start of a show when you've got all this anticipation building and it's really dark, kind of like this. There are lots of devices like pedal notes that you can use in music to create a particular effect and add to your catalogue. And there are lots of things you can do to make your chords sound interesting as well. And in this video, I talk about four of them. So if you're interested in that, head on through and I will see you there.